Hey guys, it is Friday instead of Thursday, and this is Pam with 44 Marketplace. We tried very hard to get on air last night, but we had technical difficulties related to weather, actually related to the weather from the night before last. So tonight we are going to go over, um, did you see the piece of furniture that I posted uh, yesterday? Um, I posted a very sad looking piece of furniture that my sweet daughter brought to me um, <laughs> that she wants to use in her bedroom. And um, it had some damage just from somebody leaving glasses sitting on the top of it. Something as simple as that. And when I was showing it to my mother, she said, I wouldn't buy a piece of furniture like that. Well, a lot of people feel like that. Um, maybe you wouldn't pick it up because you think it can't be fixed. Or maybe you own a piece of furniture like that. And you think, oh, what could I do? Well, we're going to show you tonight. And my sweet daughter, who owns that piece of furniture, is going to show you what we're doing to it. Um, because our videos don't really last a long time, we went ahead and we got started on it so that you guys, we're going to pick you up kind of in the middle. If you haven't seen the piece of furniture picture, look at our Facebook page yesterday, 44 Marketplace, and you'll see our little sad piece of furniture. And today we're going to go over something. A lot of people think of Dixie Belle as 55 colors of paint, but Dixie Belle is so, so, so much more. So, our piece of furniture we're going to use sea spray on. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Sea spray is a great additive, and I went ahead and put some in my little bucket, my little tray, um, and it is just an additive that you mix with paint. So that you can see it well, with this piece that I'm going to show you what it looks like on, I'm using Honky Tonk Red because I love red. My grandson will tell you, red is my favorite color. And so we're going to mix this up, some sea spray with our Honky Tonk Red. And I'm going to show you how you actually go about putting it onto a piece of furniture. It's, a, it's kind of a powdery substance. It's similar um, in... There you go. It's similar... It looks a little similar to plaster or something. It is not plaster. Um, it is just an additive that Dixie Belle came up with that makes your paint have some texture to it. And I'll show you. You can mix it as thick as you'd like. I like it kind of like a, the consistency of a thick frosting. You guys see that? All right. Anybody watching? Mm -hmm. We have seven viewers. Okay, so here we go. You don't paint this on. You daub it on. Okay? Can you see those little peaks that we're leaving? All right. We're going to daub it on. Daub it on. Diane says hi. Hey, Diane. Glad you're watching. All right. So we're going to daub it on, and we're leaving these little peaks, okay? Leaving these little peaks, okay? You can leave them as tall or as low as you want. And then typically what you do just before the paint dries, you take a damp brush, just before the uh, sea spray with the paint in it um, dries, you lay down those peaks, okay? All right, so now you see, this is what we're using tonight. We're gonna use sea spray. We are also going to use drop cloth. Everybody knows that's my favorite. <laughs> and then we're going to use Spanish moss. And we're going to finish it off with gator hide. I say we're going to finish it off. We're going to put gator hide on it, but you know me. I will probably do something else to it after the fact. Whether it's wax or grunge glaze or brown glaze or something. So, since this is my daughter's piece of furniture, I am going to make her do the work. All right. This is what we have done to it. We have actually taken drop cloth paint. And we have put our sea spray in it, and we painted it earlier. Um, we actually painted it yesterday with the sea spray. We daubed it on, and I want you to, can you see the little peaks that are left in it, okay? All right, so you see the peaks that are left in it. Now we're going to put Lindsay to work, and we are going to have her paint it. All right. Okay, little girly girl, get over here. Lindsay's going to use an R30 Klingon brush because it gives a great consistency over the paint. And you're going to see how she goes to work with it. All right, Lynn, show them. All right. 
You just don't be stingy with the paint. You just paint right over it. Am I doing this right? Absolutely. Lindsay has not used Dixie Belle very many times before. <laughs> so she's got to get a feel for it. And then we're going to show you. We're going to dry it up. And we're going to sand it back and let you see what a beautiful finish it's going to have. It won't take us but just a few minutes. Hey, Paula, how are you? Okay. Okay, see how good that covers? And now, if you take the time to look at the picture that we posted yesterday, you'll see that the top of this, this is not a solid wood piece of furniture. <laughs> this piece of furniture is made out of press board. Well, a lot of them that. are. And she didn't realize it when she bought the furniture. Okay? Um, so when she picked up the piece of furniture, she did not realize um, because she doesn't have very much experience with it. <laughs> so she was a little disappointed and dismayed um, that... You know, that it looked like that when she got it. But I told her, everything can be fixed. Dixie Belle fixes so much. So we're going to paint a little bit more on there, and then we're going to dry it up right quick. Say hey, Lindsay. Hi, guys. <laughs> to be fair, I needed cheap furniture. To be fair, she didn't have much money to spend, so she got a great deal on a bedroom say it and $100. she got the whole set for a hundred dollars and she thought it was a great deal and then when she saw she was a little dismayed but I'm going to show you how great we're going to make this look and the fact that there was a problem with the top is not even going to be factored in there's not even going to be a problem I didn't have my great furniture mom to shop with me <laughs> she wanted to surprise me by getting it and getting it painted herself and everything and then <laughs> that worked out really well obviously because we're here now a year after i bought it yeah i think she has had it about a year i did gave my husband a heart attack when i came home and said hey i need you to unload this <laughs> you know what that's like right i don't <laughs> Dad, I just take it and Dad unload just it. expects you to yeah. come home with furniture or whatever. Okay, we're almost finished with this top. All right. Now we are going to set this aside and we're going to paint the edges and everything later. All right. So Grab that cord over there. We're going to plug up today instead of a heat gun. We're going to try a blow dryer so that you guys can get an idea because all we're drying right now is just the top coat of paint. Okay? And because most people like me don't have a heat gun. Yep. And that was the question I got last week. So many people don't have a heat gun. So we are going to... You high? Yep. All right. We're going to dry this up a little bit. Sorry for the noise again, but we got to dry it up good. So that you can see the beauty of it. And as soon as we finish up, um, I know that the winner from last week <laughs> is Dale. I know you're watching, Dale. So you need to touch face with me and pick up your 8-ounce paint. And then we are going to have two winners from this week since we are a day late. So I'm going to give away two 8-ounce jars of Dixie Bell paint. Be sure to like it, share it, and comment. Does it dry this fast in real life? It, well, if you sit it outside in the Georgia heat, it dries immediately. Really? It dries so fast you can't believe it. No, ma'am. That's great. All right, we're drying up good. Can you guys see what a great color that is? It's kind of a nice, warm, light brown. What's the name of it? Today we 
are using tea spray, texture additive. Um, if you look on yesterday's post, you will see that we um, posted a sad piece of furniture that my daughter brought home um, that had some damage from water on the top of it. And we are fixing it with this. We are creating a new top, basically. Almost there. Okay. Now, what we have done so far, we had a damaged piece of furniture. We used sea spray additive by Dixie Bell. We used the sea spray additive. Come on, don't get. We used the sea spray additive, and we with drop cloth paint. And now we have let that dry yesterday, and today we have put Spanish moss on there. All right, I'm going to hand it back to Lindsay. Here's my Spanish moss. Okay. All right. So now we have got our coat on there and watch what happens when we do this. What are you doing that for? We are showing the beautiful coat underneath so that now we will have a beautiful finish that no longer has watermarks in it and ends up looking very very smooth. Thank you for sharing our video. Hey, Phoenicia, I saw you log on. How did you know it was her? Because Phoenicia, Phoenicia always shares. <laughs> Phoenicia's won paint more than once, I think. <laughs> She's your super fan, huh? She is. Okay, now can you see how this looks? And this is just hand sanding this just a little. All right. And he's just in a hay pan with a crying laughing face. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm crazy, girl. <laughs> okay, so now when you rub your hand across this, whereas before it had water damage, so there's no way you could have used it like it is, we have gone in and with our additive, our texture additive, we have created a new top for this piece. And all we have left to do now is to wipe it off, to get our dust off, and we will put gator hide over the top of it. And this piece will be ready to use in anybody's bedroom. And the reason that we're using gator hide is because gator hide is water repellent. So on the top of a nightstand, a dresser, an end table, any type of a piece of furniture, your kitchen table, you want to use gator hide. And I usually use a couple of coats because you want to make sure that the gator hide is water repellent. That way, if somebody forgets and leaves a drink on their nightstand, you don't have to worry about it. Because if they leave a drink on their nightstand, this will take care of it, the water repellent of it. So now what do you think? Look at the before picture yesterday and look at this. And we will post a picture Monday of the completed piece. So you'll get to see it all gator hided up. And you guys know me. I don't just stop with paint um, and sea spray and gator hide. There'll be some wax Great and or glaze on it. Yeah, probably some white and brown wax. Maybe whitewash glaze. I don't know. Hi, it's Susie. Hi, Bill. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Okay, so this is where we are. What do you guys think? Look at the before picture and look at the after picture. And if you run your hand across this, it's very, very, very smooth. It really is. It's very soft. It looks really textured, but it's not. Yep. So how about that, guys? So the next time you have a problem piece of furniture, what are you going to do? You're going to go out and you're going to buy some Dixie Belle sea spray. If you aren't close to me, Give me a call, I'll drop ship it to you. Buy some Dixie Bell Sea Spray and create a new top for your piece. Fill in some problem areas where you're missing some, some type of laminate or something. If it's got a chunk taken out of it. Or my favorite, if a dog's chewed on it. <laughs> Best way to fix it up, use some spray, sea spray or swamp mud. So now don't forget, 
like and share. Remember, Dixie Bell can fix just about anything. And Dale, don't forget, you won last week's paint, so touch base with me. And I'm going to pick two winners from tonight on Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.